Johnny Stampanato, a notorious ruthless mob enforcer for Los Angeles kingpin Mickey Cohen. Sean Connery, the charismatic Scottish actor, would later become synonymous with James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Two very different figures, yet their worlds would eventually cross. How, you may ask? Let's find out. Before we delve into the altercation, let's understand the persona of Sean Connery. Born in Edinburgh, Scotland in 1930, Connery's journey to stardom was anything but ordinary. He worked as a milkman, a lifeguard, a nude art model, and even served in the Royal Navy before finding his true passion in acting. Clearly, he was getting busy. On the other hand, Johnny Stampanato was a complex character with a checkered past. Associated with organized crime, he had a reputation for being dangerous and had relationships with powerful figures. More importantly, he seemed to have a thing for popular film actresses. So much so that Frank Sinatra once asked Mickey Cohen to tell Stampanato to stay away from Ava Gardner. But the actress of significance in this story is a woman named Lana Turner. Stampanato and Turner were in a relationship, but it was not all lovey and lovey. Their tumultuous relationship was often riddled with jealousy and violence. In 1957, Turner had a role in the film Another Time, another place where she starred with none other than Sean Connery. Rumors spread that the two stars were in fact having an affair. An envious Stampanato quickly learned of this and began threatening Lana. The situation had escalated to the point that Stampanato decided to fly out to London, where the film was being shot. He soon made his way to the set and arrived to see Connery and Turner sitting on a couch together for a scene. Stampanato drew a gun and commanded the separation of the two stars. However, Connery swiftly twisted Stampanato's wrist, disarming him, and punched him once. Stampanato was escorted out of the studio and was deported out of England. The film was shortly completed, and Connery had traveled to Los Angeles to shoot another movie. At this time, a shocking revelation was made. Stampanato was killed, and at the hands of Lana Turner's daughter, Cheryl. Cheryl had discovered Stampanato attacking her mother and stabbed him to death. But no one believed this including the mob. Connery now had a contract on his head, so Connery was forced into hiding until things cooled down. The clash between Sean Connery and Johnny Stampanato brought to the forefront the dark underbelly of the glamorous Hollywood scene. It highlighted the dangers of fame, the abusiveness of a relationship, and the influence of organized crime on the entertainment industry. Thank you for joining me today on this journey into the past. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and remember beneath the shiny veneer of hollywood's golden age lies a world of stories waiting to be discovered until next time this is the scribe signing off